Hi everyone, Nick here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a callout or an annotation uh, box to your first page in your Visual Word report. So we know that if you're making a Visual Word report, you're probably going to have to do a lot of inserting of different text boxes, images, charts, and graphs, those kinds of things. And this will be our first attempt uh, at sort of showing you how to do that and work with some of Microsoft Word settings to keep things in place. Because sometimes when you just insert a text box or insert a shape on a page, it tends to bounce around. So we're going to show you how to do this. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to pan back and we're going to show you the whole page view. Uh, we're going to be on one page and then uh, there is our entire page view here. What I want to do is kind of maybe the right third of the page. I want to put a box here along the entire side that runs the entire length of the page. And this is where I'm going to either put my maybe my key finding, something that I really want to draw people's attention to, or I could actually pull out something like if you're doing a research report, we would often maybe put the methodology section in that just to show people this is what we did and how we did it, but maybe it's not the most important thing uh, for you to look at. So there's kind of a few different strategies there. Either make a callout box for something that you really want people to see, or make a callout box for information uh, that people might need, but is not necessarily part of the findings or the narrative of your report. So let's go ahead. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert a shape. So go to the Insert tab, and then under the Shapes menu, we're going to go ahead and click on Rectangle. So on that rectangle now, you get the kind of these crosshairs here that shows you you're ready to draw the shape. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw the shape right here. Now, depending on your color theme, you're going to get a different color uh, here. But we're going to actually work with this. And let's say I'm going to go up here to my color, and let's say I just want this to be um, this red the shade of red right here. Let's go and do that. So I'm going to change the color to that. Then the other thing that, the th now the thing that we want to do before we do any formatting here is when you insert a shape or any object, you get this report layout icon right here. It says layout options. Choose how your object interacts with the text around it. So you can see right now we've actually just kind of drawn this shape on top of all the text, but I want it to, um, I don't want it to be above the text or below the text. I want it to actually um, make sure that it wraps around the text so that the text stops here and continues to go down the this three quarters of the page um, and then have this text box be its own box over here on the right. So when I click on this layout options, you can see that right now it's selected as being in front of text, but let's go ahead and click on this text uh, or this option here that says square. It's going to wrap around the text here. And then you can see that it actually makes the text uh, kind of go along this three quarters of the page, and then none of the text goes underneath this object anymore. Now, if I wanted to click on in line with text, that would actually put the box above all the text. So you can see if I do that, none of the text is on this page anymore. Now this is the first object, and if I scroll down, you'll see all the text there. That's not what I want. So let's just go back to the options. Let's go click on square here. And you can see that it actually moved uh, to the left side of the page. I can actually just click and drag. And when you click and drag this, you can see how it interacts with the text like that. So I'm going to do this. Now the other thing too is when you insert the um, text here, let's go click on the layout options again, it says move with text. You know, So it's set to move with the text right here. I can't actually move, if I'm dragging this text box, wherever I inserted it, I can only move it along the plane, the vertical plane left, or the horizontal plane left to right. I can't actually drag this down any further. But if I wanted to do that, what I would do is go back up to this uh, layout options here and click on fix position on page. When you do that, it actually allows you then to move the text box anywhere around the page you want to or across different pages. So that can be another option uh, that you click if you really want that to be uh, part of your document here. So I do want it to be part of my document. I'm going to say that uh, with text wrapping, it's going to be this square option right here because I want it to sort of wrap with the text. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is you can see this little anchor icon right here. It says object anchor. The selected object is anchored to the document text here. You can actually adjust the settings for that anchor here. What I'm going to say is I'm going to lock the anchor because I want it to always be in this position on the first page and I don't want it to move. So I'm going to click on that text box, we're going to click OK, and now every time that I interact with this document, this call-out box should be there on that first page. Now, what are we going to do with this call-out box? I'm going to go down here to the settings and zoom in just a little bit so we can see a little bit more of this. 
Now, one of the mistakes that I have made in the past is adding a shape here and then going to the Insert tab, inserting a text box, and then putting that text box on top of my call-out box. We don't need to do that. So let's click on Undo. And I'm going to get rid of that text box. When you insert a shape, any shape that you insert in PowerPoint, Word, or even Excel is actually its own, uh, it actually acts like its own mini Word document. If you have a shape and just start to type in the shape, you will, let's see, let's go, let's just click on the shape and then start typing, typing text. You can see that it automatically starts typing text inside the shape. Now it's defaulted to uh, kind of come in the middle, start in the middle of the box. So I want it to go up here at the top. So all you have to do there is once you're on the shape format box, under text, you can say align text, and then we're going to say on top. And that gives us uh, the text starting on the top. And then what I'm also going to do is I want it to be over to the left. I want this to be left align text. So I'm going to go back to the home tab here. And then under the paragraph menu, I'm going to go ahead under these alignment tools and say align left. Perfect. Now you could work with this text as you do. Uh, I'm just going to make that bold. Let's go ahead and actually use our placeholder text here. I'm going to do the lorem ipsum. Let's say that we want three paragraphs of five sentences each. And it's going to do like that. And it's going to maintain that bold setting. But I'm going to highlight this. And we're going to go up and say unbold. Now, the other thing that you can do is work with this box is you can work with the margin. So this is defaulted uh, to the margins that it will default to. But if I want to format it, go to the format shape, right click and format shape over here under this alignment uh, icon right here, Layout and Properties, we can actually adjust the margins within this box. So you can do left margin, right margin, top or bottom, and you can see this is the default. It's 0.1 inch, 0.1 inch, 0.05. So let's go ahead and say I want it to be 0.1 across the entire document. Now if I wanted the left to uh, come in a little bit, I would increase the size of that margin. You can see how that increases. You can also decrease it using those. So I think this is a really nice way to insert things like annotation boxes or callout boxes without using that text box on top of a shape. You don't need to do that. You can type right inside of a shape and you can work with those settings just like Word. Now, if I don't want this box to be um, this shade of red, uh, maybe I could start updating some of the options, some of the formatting of this box. So when the box is selected over that the format shape menu, we can go ahead and click on the shape options and under fill, you can see this is the fill color here. Maybe I just want to work with the transparency. I like this shade of red, but I want it to be lighter. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the transparency, let's say to 70%. Now you can see that it has a line around the box. I don't really want the line around the box. So under the uh, shape options menu here, under line, we're gonna say no line, and that gives us a line. And then when the box is lighter like this, we don't want this white text. So we actually want the text to be uh, really dark red. So under here, I can say on text options, I can say that I want the text, uh, let's see, to be, let's see, the text fill, uh, we're going to go ahead and click. I wonder if that will work. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and uh, adjust the text fill in that way. If I wanted to do something fancy with the text, I could look work uh, with the text outline or shadowing and things like that, but I would not recommend doing that. In this case, I think most of the time we just need to do this, and then this would be a title for my annotation box or call out here. And we could work with our fonts. We can see this is Lado font point 11. This is also Lado font point 11. Like maybe we want this to be a different font here. Let's just go up and say maybe Franklin Gothic medium. And I don't want this to be bold. So we're just going to click that there. Maybe I'll increase the size here to 12 points. And then maybe we want to adjust the font to something red. Or maybe a darker shade of red there. So that could work. You could do something like this. Let's go ahead and pan back and just see our entire page view here. Or of course we can go to our view tab, zoom, and click on whole page and that shows us our whole page. But now you have a really nice visual uh, on your page here in this annotation or call out box here on the side. And it looks really nice. So you can kind of deal with that uh, how you want to in your report, whether you want it to be something that you are 
wanting to draw people's attention to or you want to use as sort of um, a, um, a section for additional text that people might want but maybe uh, isn't necessarily part of the report narrative. If you like this video, I hope you subscribe to the channel. Click the subscribe button and tap the bell next to it to get a notification every time I post a data design tutorial in Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, or Excel. I, remember, you don't have to be a professional designer to look like one using the software that you already have access to and use every single day. Thanks again for watching. I had a great time making this video for you today. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time.